home to go to by and by. That's right. That's right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Can we say praise the Lord again? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. How many glad to be in the house of God today? Some of can be in, we could have been in a hospital. Uh, we could have been in a nursing home. Yeah. Uh, we could have been in jail. Yeah. We could have been thrown out on the street. Yeah. But no better place to be than in the house of the Lord. That's right. Amen. Uh, Praise the Lord. Let's go to Matthew, the sixth chapter. Matthew, the sixth chapter, and I'm going to begin at the 20. Fifth verse. Matthew, the sixth chapter, begin at the twenty fifth verse. When you have to say amen. 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 And if you're able, can you please stand for the word of God? And the scripture says as follows. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than me, and the body than rain? Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth thee. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubic unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. And this is where I'm going to take my thought. Verse 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Can we pray? Father God, right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this another opportunity to call upon your name. And God, I ask right now, Lord, that you would touch your congregation, O God. Open up their ears and they can hear, and open up their hearts and they can receive. O God, I'm asking you that you just touch your ministry. Lord, anoint me greatly. Help me to decrease, Lord, so that you can increase, O God. Lord, let your Holy Spirit come through, your Holy Ghost come through, yes. reign and rule and rush through this place. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. The thought the Lord had me to take for the day is, tonight is take no thought for tomorrow. Take no thought for tomorrow. The Bible here is telling us to take no thought for tomorrow. Uh -huh. Now how many people have we got out here that are procrastinators? We like to put things off. You know, we'll say, well, I'll do this tomorrow. Yeah. I'll do this later on. And yeah. I'll call yeah. Sister So-and-So tomorrow. Or maybe I'll call Brother So-and-So next week and check on him. And so on and so on. Uh -huh. How many know that in God's eyes, Right. There might not be a tomorrow. Right. We might not be able to be able to plan what we want to do tomorrow. Right. We might not have an opportunity to do what we want to do tomorrow. Right. Sometimes we get so stressed and so worried yeah. that we fail to see the big picture. Right. To see that without God's help, we can't do anything. Right. Right. You know, some writer says yeah. that I can't even walk without you holding my hand. Right. Another one says that without God, I can do nothing. Uh -huh. 
Sitting there all dressed up and getting ready to backslide. 